Tied to a railing on Sir Matt Busby Way on Tuesday night was a blanket-sized print of the great man's 1968 European Cup winning team. A squad of 18 red shirts unadorned by sponsorship logos. 18 pairs of black boots. Lauren Charlton either side of Busby and the trophy on the front row. Best and Freerand immediately behind. Best smile almost a smirk. I can name every one of those players, said a Manchester United supporter of late middle age. Law and Charlton still make their pilgrimages to this great theatre and so do many thousands who once watched them play. United's past is glorious but also relatively recent enough to still feel it. For that reason and others, match day at Old Trafford continues to feel traditional. It has warmth. These days there is a vegan takeaway outlet two or three down from Lou Macari's chippy and neon shines from the screens of Hotel Football, built to United's horror by the Neville brothers just beyond the extremities of the club's footprint. But much of it feels like it always has. All that has significantly changed is the quality on the field, something that was again apparent as a United team modestly improved under the German coach Ralf Rangnick failed to last the distance against the fourth best team in Spain. All of this is in United's mind as they ponder what to do with their famous stadium. Their supporters deserve to be at the forefront of the conversations as despite the thin gruel served up in the eight and a half years since Sir Alex Ferguson stepped down as manager, they have stood by their team, here during a tense, gripping night of European football, the Stretford end was as staunchly supportive as Rangnick had asked him to be in the build-up. Match day experiences across England have changed as modernisation has placed its hand on our stadia. Some clubs, such as Tottenham, have emerged from the process richer in spirit. Others haven't. Here in Stretford, a tired, rather frayed old monster retains its grandeur and its aura. It remains an imposing place for opposition footballers to play. If United eventually do decide to knock it down and start again then those are characteristics that must never be traded for the commercial pound or dollar.